Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. Kit comes in 148 scale and we have here Junkers 88A4 with German uh, GP and also Torpedo trailers. So you will get exactly what is included here on the box art. So as you can see it's aircraft, ground personnel and torpedo with a trailer which is a quite interesting combo in 148 scale which should definitely make an interesting diorama project and that's why I decided to take a closer look. And here we have a kit number 48229 so this is the final shape of this release and you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. So the box size here is standard for such release. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Also if I flip it over here on the side we have some information about the kit and also about the real subject and I will just turn it a bit. So we have 234 parts for assembly of the aircraft, 52 parts for German torpedo and trailers and 45 parts for assembly of the figurines. And on the opposite side you can see the marking guide for the aircraft and also for this torpedo. I wonder if there will be some alternative markings because otherwise one marking in 148 scale is uh, not that much to be honest. So you will have to check some reference material if you are not uh, let's say satisfied with what you get out of the box. But as far as you can see it's a classic German camouflage so nothing bad either. Okay, now I am cutting through the plastic seal, so in case you wonder, this is something ICM started doing last year and it also shows if the kit was opened before you, so quite handy in case you are worried about the um, contents. So now I'm just going to remove this top cover, it sits a bit tight, that's why I'm doing it off the camera because I'm usually putting the box in a vertical position and just taking it off. So as you can see here we have this flexible top cover and then what is actually preserving all the parts intact is this white cardboard box and here we have quite I would say tight packaging as you can see. So. As far as you can see here we have all parts intact, but still it's something to keep in mind. Maybe also try to ask your uh, seller to pack it a bit more carefully. Okay, so now I'm opening the first plastic bag. So as far as you can see each of the releases is packed separately and that actually shows that these kits are also available as a separate releases. So first of all we are going to start with the torpedo parts and also the trailer parts. So both are included on one sprue and as you can see this is I would say familiar kit to those of you who uh, follow our YouTube channel reviews because we reviewed the separate release. Now we are also checking it as a part of this combo set and the quality is as good as in the previous releases so it's just a matter of careful assembly and also painting so that you get a nice result. Next if I... here is by the way the parts from the opposite side. Next I will show you another plastic sprue with figurines. So this is also something what can be bought separately as far as I remember. Just Google ICM German personnel in 148 scale and you will find exactly the same figurines. Nevertheless quality looks quite fine so in 148 scale we do not see figurines that often, so that's why it's a welcome addition, I would say. And of course you don't have to use all of the figurines, so it might be also a good thing to keep some of you, uh, some of those guys for your future build. And if I flip it over here, you can check these parts from the opposite side. And in the meantime, I will open another plastic bag in order to take out parts for the aircraft. Okay, a lot of sprues, so be ready. We will be checking them one by one, of course. And first of all, we are going to start with this clear frame. So it is also packed into a separate plastic bag and that's of course a good thing because it will preserve the part from unnecessary damage. So what do we have here is the canopy parts. And frankly speaking, I'm not sure if we have the 
Can it be mask templates included? Because uh, recently ACM stopped doing it in their kit, so maybe this one will be different, or maybe not. Who knows? We will see it once we will be opening the assembly manual. But molding quality here is really great. As you can see, all parts are clear and crisp, almost like a real glass. So that's why it's worth investing into some aftermarket mask set if we do not have a masking template here. Next, we start with the first gray plastic sprue for the aircraft. Here I will have to zoom out even more so that you can see all of these parts. So those are fuselage halves. Of course, they are molded without tail section. What is also interesting is this uh, lower area of the wing with the wing root section. So as you can see, we get it molded together with the lower section of the fuselage and this might actually contribute to the overall appearance of this kit. We get also standard external features. It means recessed panel lines and rivets in all necessary spots. And here, by the way, you can see why do I get a lot of plastic on these parts? That's really strange, even though molding quality looks fine, but there are some plastic bits on the parts, as you can see. Nevertheless, what I was saying, we have also guiding elements here on the parts, so they will help you with overall alignment. And this is a welcome feature, especially in this size, because assembled model will take a lot of space, let's say. After all, it's a twin engine aircraft in 148 scale. Next, we continue with one more plastic sprue. So here you can see these are engine gondolas. Also, we have parts for the rudder and one piece propellers. I'm not sure which version will be used here, to be honest, because we also get one more version on the separate sprue, which I will show in a second. Okay. So it's a sprue C. And here we get another type of the propellers, we get another type of the engine uh, gondolas, and also we get some parts for the landing gear. And as far as I remember, we have the engines included here, but it will be a question how to expose them on your model, so uh, we will talk about it a bit later. Uh, meanwhile, I can show you that there are guiding elements on the opposite side, so again, this is a cool thing because uh, it will help you with overall alignment. Now we have something what I did not expect to be honest because we get more torpedoes inside aircraft parts. As you can see these are exactly the same as what we saw in the first sprue, so they should be quite good. Next we have two identical plastic sprues, so here we have exactly what I was talking about. We have both engines. And in my opinion, it's worth exposing at least one because those look good out of the box. And especially if you get some aftermarket PE for them, it will be even better. And as you can see, we get a lot of uh, parts for the engine compartment as well. And if I flip it over here, you can see again guiding elements, which will help you with overall alignment. Next, we continue with gray plastic sprue for the wing mechanization. So here it is molded separately. We also get some cockpit parts here, this large main landing gear OX, also hard not to notice. And if I flip it over, you can notice that this wing mechanization parts are actually one piece. So this is a welcome thing because it will be easier to work with such parts. Next we continue with some parts for the uh, turrets on the aircraft. So as you can see, we have machine guns, we also have these special covers, nothing unusual, yet they will be necessary in order to copy this aircraft. And next we have wing parts here, so if I zoom out a bit, uh, so each side of the wing should be assembled out of two halves, and as you remember we have separate wing mechanization. So again, pay attention while building these large parts together, so here is comparison with my hand. Wingspan will be really huge, and it's also a question how to store this model once you build it. Next, we have assembly manuals. So first of all, we have here the uh, separate assembly manual for the ground personnel, and that's exactly what I was talking about. As you can notice, it comes from the solar release, let's say, so here is the number 48229. And on this side we have a parts map and also paint chart. On the other side we have the marking guide in black and white. So maybe it's a good idea to find some reference material so that you can pro paint it properly. Next we continue with the assembly manual for the German torpedoes. 
So this one is already in color as you can see. It should be also folded in half because it was previously it was packed into a smaller box, but here they decided not to do so. We also get the parts map and here is the assembly process. So that's everything you have to do. Eight steps in total. So not a difficult process, but it's something where you can play with some weathering ideas or maybe just try to achieve a nice accurate paint finish. Next we continue with the assembly manual for the aircraft itself. So here as you can see it comes from this TROP version and it was a kit number 48236. We reviewed it as well in case you wonder and of course we have the decal sheet here so printing quality is really nice. We have the stencils here so everything looks fine in my opinion. But there are not that many cockpit decals, keep it in mind. Of course, there are no seat belts, for example. And here we are looking at the parts map. So as I said before, a lot of parts will be unused. Pay attention to this because it will be important to use the right version of, for example, propellers. So here assembly process starts with the cockpit walls, bulkheads, then we join fuselage house together. Now tail landing gear gets in place. And then we start working on the cockpit, which will be installed on this, as you remember, central section of the wing route. Next, we continue with the tail wings. We assemble the both sides of the wing as well. And then all of this stuff goes together onto the aircraft. By the way, something what I was advising before is to have some metal rod here in order to ensure the rigidity of the whole structure. Next, we continue with the wing mechanization. Here we have landing gear parts. We assemble the engine. And next, engine gondolas get together. So here exactly the moment where you have to think how to expose the engine because as you can see manufacturers suggest fully closed engine gondolas and then it would be a shame to hide such engines just completely closed. Here we install all the clear parts, also we assemble the turrets, then we proceed with the torpedoes, underwing, and then we have more of the clear parts. Here we have the stenciling guide as far as you can see. No masking template unfortunately. Here we have two marking options. And here you can see two more. So basically you get more than what was depicted on the box art. So this kit should be already available and you can get it for example in Madelimex. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. And if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye.